Hello, Cancerians. I'm Lorel, and welcome to Lorel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you, motherfuckers. Yes, I do, my love. And if you need to get that personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, lorelsmoon.com, for your magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, Cancerians, we're going to see what's going on for the 15th to the 31st of July, 2019. We're going to find out how you feel, how your partner feels, okay? In the pre-shuffle, I kept shuffling and I kept seeing the Knight of Wands. So, you know how when you look at a comic strip or a comic book back in the day and you see the pages flip through really fast and you just see the same thing over and over again? That's what I seen was the Knight of Wands. So, Cancerians, action is what I'm seeing. Okay, it could be making action towards someone. Someone could be making action towards you. And a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? So here we go. Let's sage the cards for the gods. Here we go. Let's see what's going down with the magical messages from the motherfucking fairies. All right. We have perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So, like I said, a lot of movement. All right. It could be that you guys are definitely waiting for something new. Okay. It could be a new home. It also could be a new career as well. It could be something new in your career. It says your work focus is shifting in a positive and new successful direction. Look how light and bright that shit is. So, you guys definitely could be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, like I said. Also, Leo Sagittarius Aries, okay? Cancerians. Also, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger and resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. This fell loud, honey, so it must have been a message for us Cancerians. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's going down. I feel like with you, you definitely could be uh, just dealing with your emotions overall. This is definitely you. could be you and your partner. But it looks like you guys are using each other as some sort of anchor and to follow each other's hearts is what I'm seeing here. You could be dealing with, like I said, Cancer, Christ, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you got that Ten of Pentacles, so Cancerians, I feel like there's definitely some stability between you and your partner, or just overall, it could be in your head, you and this person, the stability. You have the Seven of Cups, it says, I trust myself to see the truth. So, being able to see that truth and calling it for what it is, okay, and being real with yourself, 15th through the 31st, Hangman Energy, says, I can see this situation another way. So, you could be waiting to see things change, see, see things, uh, you know, in another perspective as well with that hangman energy. Check out that aquamarine too, Cancerians. Okay, so let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Okay, so a lot of fours here. You guys could be dealing with home stability. Okay, this is your energy, Cancerians. I'm definitely seeing here a lot of you guys could be dealing with building up a home or some sort of stability energy here. Could be that you're letting go. You're no longer resting. Like I said, you're getting up and taking that action. You could be uh, trying to heal away from a situation, but you could be just trying to move things in a new pace anyway uh, instead of just healing from it. Okay. But I definitely see that you all are building. You have a six of sword energy here once again. And I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to build yourself up or move away or leave away. Definitely a lot of action. 
Jackson in this motherfucker. Could be dealing with a possible Scorpio as well with this death energy, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like you guys are all leaving away and trying to overcome. Could be overcoming uh, poverty. Okay. Could be trying to overcome some insecurities, feeling sad, deaths, Cancerian restarts, rebirths. I do feel like it's a lot of toxic energy. You could be dealing with a lot of bonds and toxic toxic energy. Could be that scorpionic energy where they hold it onto you motherfucking tight. With a single baby. Okay. Somebody definitely could be dealing with obsessions or just addictions overall with this devil energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Cancerians. But I do feel it's a lot of uh, sex energy down at the bottom, honey. They got the bottom of the bottoms. They got the roses entangled in them. Okay, down there at the lower level. Cancerians. <laughs> so some of y'all definitely could be getting rid of that sex energy. I do feel like there is a lot of toxicity here. Or there could be just a lot of magic in the play. With that devil energy, I feel like there could be a lot of destructive things that you could be dealing with. Um, that you... Um, be careful. Is all I'm going to say is with uh, destructive behavior or obsessive behavior. I do feel like a lot of you guys could be dealing in the magic realm as well with the devil energy and the magician. Also the queen of wands. So these are all like, you know, um, these are all manifestation cards. Okay. Somebody could be playing those trickery games as well. These are all the manifesto cards, okay, they utilize it all, also with the queen of wands, she could be just uh, really sitting to wait to see this action manifest, all right, could be trying to let go of the toxicity as well as what I'm seeing here, Cancetians, between you and your partner, I do feel like a lot of you guys could have blocked off communication because there was a lot of um, different beliefs between each other, but I do feel like for most of you all, there's a lot of good communication um, that you guys are um, really trying to analyze, communicate with each other, even though there are some differences. It looks beautiful to me, Kansetti, and definitely could be some sort of commitment energy here with the three of pentacles. Okay, it could be somebody going to that altar. Somebody's talking to a priest, honey. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really trying to analyze the situation. Could be with a third party situation, okay? Could be how you're trying to build up in this third party and try not to go too far down the rabbit hole, especially in your traditional uh, systems. All right. It's definitely what I'm seeing between you and your partner. I do feel like this person sees that you want to take some sort of independence. Um, you have the nine of pentacles here, but I do feel someone could have some offers for you, darling. Ace of pentacle energy could be changing it up. Some abundance with money, making those new moves. Stability is what I'm seeing between you and your partner. I also feel like there's uh, definitely this situation overall, Kensetians, that you are wanting this equal give and take within the family. You want this person to offer you something, a toast, an oven, some money, something, something, okay? <laughs> Could be some dates. Could be that someone needs to go out on a date, all right, Kensetians? Definitely could be some sort of third party situation that uh, someone felt like there was some messages, but I feel like they're not even trying to work towards this energy. Okay, now someone is trying to avoid it. You have the five of uh, five of wands and also the page of wands. Could be someone shorter uh, that either you or your partner is trying to steer from or avoid um, with a third party situation. It could be a Leo as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, but I feel like there's definitely someone that was being left in the dust uh in a third party and it looks to me like there's no action being taken because you know that that cycle has closed out so let's see how they view you the moon energy here darling in the king of swords so how they view you as somebody who's cut some boundaries. You could be dealing with a Pisces, also generally or Aquarius. But I feel like there could be somebody who's really looking deep, deep, deep. They could have a lot of insecurities and fears themselves with this moon energy. There are a lot of things that need to be revealed with this moon energy. Okay. Especially what you don't, uh, especially in how they view you. Okay. Uh, it could be that something that you already see, uh, 
that you feel this person doesn't really come in fast enough or they could be just too motherfucking slow with the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Okay, don't you just get tired of slow motherfuckers? Like sometimes you got to pick up the pace and bring it on. Okay, you could be feeling like there's some sort of injustice as well, or they could be feeling like there's an injustice that could have happened. Possible Libra involved with the justice energy here, Kensetians. Okay, or someone is just overall wanting to, or is indecisive with this justice energy coming in reverse. Okay, indecisive on how they're going to take their time or, you know, just waiting for them to come out of a lot of fears is what I'm seeing here, Kensetian. Now, with the Two of Wands energy, I do feel like a lot of you guys are trying to share this connection. They view you um, as someone who's trying to share some things here. You could be trying to share the world, but you're also spying or they are spying on you with this Page of Swords and also with the Knight of Swords. Definitely a lot of spying. Could be a lot of hurtful things or somebody could be coming in ready to take their night out, lay knife off and cut your ass. Yes, honey. Somebody could be um, giving some falsified information. Okay, be aware of the information that they might bring to you okay could be needing to get a little bit more insight on that with that page of swords um but i do feel like there's definitely some sort of message here or a quick message that you might receive um based off of this connection or how this person is going to be helping you so what i'm seeing here somebody is definitely wanting to hold your elbow and a globe and a ball too honey they want to hold it with you Definitely some regrowth here for some of you all. And a major decision that's being made is how they view you, okay? Definitely could be, some, uh, they view you as somebody who could be a player too, Cancer. So definitely be aware of that with this King of Wands. All right, somebody who's spying to be a player. Also could be in a third party situation. Some of you all could be married here or your person could be married for some of you all. Okay, their intentions could be that they want to come in and out as well, or you could be dealing with someone who comes in and out very player-like as well. Somebody who could be very, very handsome with that King of Wands. Somebody who's a uh, a word manipulator, honey. They use that gift of gab with the King of Wands energy, okay? Uh, so some of you all could be dealing with someone in a third-party situation or someone who is married. Um, but it looks like to me, their intentions is to make an action towards you. There could be a situation where someone just wants to cut it off completely or someone could be in something for the money is what I'm seeing here as well. Can say and so definitely be aware of that or be aware of, um, you know, how this person watches you. So let's see what you don't see. I feel like there's definitely a lot of things underneath the surface. Uh, some of you all could be feeling like there's a lot of regrets, but also at the same time, you can balance your emotions. Ten of cup energy here, two of pentacles and the five of pentacles. So I feel like what you don't see is that there's someone who's having regrets, looking back. Um, they could be remorseful, but they're also trying to keep it, push it forward. Okay. With their emotions and also with the two of pentacle energy here. A lot of you guys are definitely trying to leave away from some old bullshit that you were balancing and, you know, you grounded yourself and you're moving on to the next stage with the Ten of Cups energy here is what you don't see. Definitely could be dealing with uh, someone that felt like there was a loss for some of you all. It's like this half and half vibe, like you felt like you were leaving some things behind or this person was going to drown you or you were struggling or they were just it just wasn't working or meshing well together for some of you all there's definitely going to be a lot of happiness and balance between you and your partner okay i feel like um with the ace of wands you guys are definitely dealing with some sort of love energy here somebody got that somewhere over the rainbow dick okay but anyway <laughs> So for some of you guys, there's definitely uh, someone who wants to bring an offer to you, Ten of Pentacle energy here, and also the full Ace of Wands. So it looks to me like it could be a love offer, sex offer, stability offer, whatever the case may be. Somebody is hanging on the edge and ready to go, baby. They got their bag, they dog, and they ready to get off the rest of the cliff and hang off, okay? So it looks to me like there could have been a third party situation that was... Uh, that someone let go of with the three of swords here definitely is healing. It could be that you've taken a new opportunity in this, in this new step. 
uh, that you're healing away from things that didn't serve you is what I'm seeing here, Cancer audience. Okay. So I feel like you're coming out of that fear, that unknown, that like, you know, that shit that could have stripped you of a lot of happiness. Okay. Could have been some things in the past that you had a lot of regrets over, that someone shut you out, left you out in the cold, you felt like they made a final judgment. Seems to me like some of you guys could have been trying to pick up back where you left from, but you're also wanting this person to make a new move, a new motive uh, with the Knight of Cups and also the Three of Swords. Somebody needs to come out of that third party situation. It could be, you know, keeping you in fear. So let's see their intentions. Here we go. Let's see their intentions, Kensadians. Their intentions for Kensadian. All right, definitely, like I said, some sort of third party situation. There could be a lot of struggle and hassle due to communication. But I feel like for some of you all, somebody has uh, tried to see. Let's see. Try. It looks to me like try to see uh, if there was some other options on the side. Or if there was someone who was competing, okay, could have been their intentions or definitely to see like how this conversation or how the flow was going to go with the eight of spheres, how movement was happening. That's what I'm seeing here, Kansadians. Definitely could have been dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So for some of you guys, I feel like in their intentions, it's definitely to communicate. Could be with a third party situation. Also could be um, a restart of some sort in their intentions with this uh, Scorpio energy and the tower. So this is definitely emerging or a sudden change. Emerging is what I'm seeing here. Consetians is their intentions. Someone could have been like, well, damn, did they really just change overnight? And then next thing you know, boom, they did. Okay. So I do feel like there could be a lot of opportunities here with the full energy. Someone could be wanting to bring on a new spontaneity. They could be wanting this change was their intentions. Definitely to share some sort of family life, family uh, abundance here. Also could be someone who's working pretty hard, has a lot of work ethic uh, geared towards family. Or their legacy is what I'm seeing here. Six of cups, six of coins, and also the eight of coins, Kansadians. So definitely someone who is ready to achieve some legacy life and also willing to work hard for it is what I'm seeing here. What you could be dealing with. Okay. So in their intentions, I feel like they could have a lot of insecurities with making things come together. So you might have to be that motherfucker that opens up those doors is what I'm seeing here, Kansetti. And being the one to talk, being the one to walk, the walk, okay? Some of you all definitely could be having just a lot of insecurities. But this person could be needing to go through their cycle first, okay? Or cut someone off with the Queen of Swords and the Judgment energy before they really send their true intentions to you, okay? Could be trying to let Mercury retrograde pass by, Consadians. So I feel like there definitely could be, um, and their intentions possible, um, like a third-party situation that they're having to really think about, that they're having to give some clarity. Could be family and friends that they're having to make things clear with, and also that they could have used something as a crutch to tell them some information is definitely what I'm seeing here, Consadians. So let's see uh, who's spying. Definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. You have the Knight of Swords and also the Five of Cups. So it could be someone who felt left out, had to turn their back on it. They could have been coming in and out as well. I do feel like a lot of you guys uh, could be dealing with someone that was spying or had a lot of tricky energy as well okay they could have uh been spying on you doing tricks with their spying so definitely be aware of that magician energy here this could be you can set in but i do feel like um there could be someone who's trying not to reveal their face or somebody who was feeling left out but there's definitely a lot of tricky energy here 
Okay, could be somebody who's using tricks and manipulation, could be on your social media page, things of that nature, going back and forth, page of coins. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Aries here with the Magician. Leo, Sagittarius uh, with the Page of Spears, could be that person that's short. All right, could be somebody who wants some justice, could be somebody who has Libra in their chart, somebody who wanted justice between how things were going to grow. For some of you all, could be someone older. But they could be smaller or, you know, shorter or it could go vice versa. But I feel like there could be someone who's fine because they weren't giving them enough loyalty or you weren't giving them enough loyalty. Possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and also uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Okay, definitely Taurus here with the Four of Coins. That could be spying, baby. <laughs> so let's see about some outside influences. For the 15th through the 31st, some outside influences. Okay, so definitely be aware. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, here's somebody that could have taken an action. All right, I feel like uh, you are aware because you have the hermit energy and also the high priestess. You could have, you know, taken a vow of silence to pretend like you weren't aware, but you were just pretending. All right. Also could have been seeing some things. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Uh, trying to make some forward movement, even though you're healing is what I'm seeing here. Could be that uh, with the King of Spears energy, somebody who's taken an action, but you have the Empress energy and the Ten of Coins. It could be that somebody didn't want to bring in some security here, okay, or or bring in a balance of security between you and your partner. There also could have been someone off to the side is what I'm seeing here as well that that was canceled out. Um, that could be some outside influences that you could be, you know, shutting yourself down and could be wanting to make um, multiple options for yourself. Cancerians with the seven of cups energy is the outside influence feeling kind of entrapped with the eight of swords and the moon energy. OK, going down that rabbit hole of feeling trapped and also with the seven of cups, trying to keep your options open, but really just not being impressed by what options you do have. And I'm also seeing here with the Page of Swords, you know, it could be that spying energy that you're just kind of trying to lay low. Or you could be just not wanting nobody to see you at all when you're spying. Okay, Cancer So I feel like there could be a lot of uh, a lot of things that you're apprehensive about pushing forward in your relationship. Could be because this person had a lot of things in the past that they're the traumas that they're trying to get over. Um, but I do feel like this person. If they did have someone on the outside, they're not really feeling them, feeling them like that. You got the Ace of Cups and then also the Four of Swords. So some of you guys could be in a marriage or could be getting married, Ken said is. But I feel like the outside influence is canceled out. Somebody's not really, your person's not really fucking with them like that. Okay, they could be turned off to their love. I do see a lot of hearts upside down here. Okay. So I do feel like there is um, someone who's discontent. They're definitely emotional about a situation, about some sort of decision that's getting ready to come up. And definitely someone who wants to come out of the cold with the five of spears and also the ace of spears. Got that in. So somebody is definitely wanting that new love. Ooh, ten of cups energy here, Cassidius. Somebody wants that new spark and vibe and energy, and y'all about to get it. Y'all about to be smiling. Your cheek's going to be hurting when you smile. Ten of cup energy here, Cancerians. Uh-oh, Ace of Spears. Y'all know how I feel about that Ace of Spears, baby. Okay, you could be coming into a new power to ignite is what I'm seeing here. So let's see about the possible outcomes. Cancerians for the 15th through the 31st of here we go, babies. Definitely could be dealing with um, possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. There's definitely some sort of message here for some of you all. Okay, there could be um, some younger children around, but there's definitely a lot of parties that are added on and involved here with the Page of Cups and also the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So, y'all, it seems to me like it's a lot of parties um, or a lot of people in the environment that you're having to make a lot of decisions towards with the two of spears. And you are making final and discreet and uh, 
decisions that have solutions, okay? I am feeling like a lot of you guys, there's a lot of sex here, okay? Could be some regrets as well towards the decision, or you could be thinking about having regrets or having a lot of uh, limited options or binding yourself from pushing forward, okay? Having a lot of thoughts that could be blinding you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with some sex energy here. Somebody wants that love and baby, ace of wands, okay? Could be that there's a new start or a new passion because you have the chariot energy, which is you can set in somebody who's making those moves. Some of you guys are definitely, um, someone is definitely spying on you with this page of swords, okay, Cancerians? And I do, I've gotten the page of swords three times in three different decks, but a lot of you guys could be someone who had some regrets with, towards a third party situation, but I do feel like a lot of you guys just want this energy to, uh, you know, die down and then bring in some new, okay? And that's probably what's going to happen. Your emotions are going to change a little bit. But I feel like there's definitely some sort of connection or unionship here that you want this person to break. Or there could be someone who's guarded towards a connection, a soulmate connection. Okay. Someone is definitely going to be coming out of the cold. But there's some spying energy here, Ken Setting. So be aware of that. I am definitely seeing here um, a lot of third parties. Be aware of people leaving behind third parties, coming into new situations, gravitating towards more inspirational things and things that really, truly matter. You have the Nine of Cups energy here, Cancerians. Okay, I feel like this person is moving slowly towards you, but they're definitely juggling and they're trying to also show you their loyalty as well. Look how he got that money in his hand. Somebody could be trying to greet you with some money or taking an action with some money in your hand. Okay, baby. But I feel like it's a lot of things you're trying to balance. They're also, to me, um, it's definitely some karmetic energy, soulmate energy going on that you're going to be aware of. And the happiness and your wish coming true is going to be here, Cancerians. Okay, for the 15th through the 31st, a lot of you guys are going to be coming out of the cold. That could have something you could have thought could have ended. Okay, or it could have been an ending that comes into something new. Definitely be aware of um, things that are shaken up. Uh, and also, you know, new opportunities, staying in your independence. Definitely a lot of third party situations could be that there's a lot of things that are being said and in third parties about you or about your person. But I feel like you guys are in your independence anyway, and you're also really willing to take on, you know, life's journey. All right. But definitely be aware that someone wants to come out of the cold with you, Cancerians. OK, but there's definitely some sort of third party interference here or there could be a third party that you just ain't even really trying to fuck with. OK, and it looks to me like you're going to have opportunity coming your way anyway. So definitely a lot of money energy here and a lot of uh, new beginnings. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So Ken said, I feel like you are building yourself up to the truth. It could be some offers, abundance coming your way. Someone is spying on your ass. So definitely be aware of that. Take care of yourself, Cancerians. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you the description box down below. Check out my website, rosemoons.com, baby. Peace.